Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Shivam here, back with another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be covering Fork, which is a CRM. Now, you may be asking Shivam, what is a CRM? CRM is a customer relationship manager that every agency owner needs. Now, I myself used to use Notion and Trello as my CRMs, but it was so hard to maintain because everything had to be done manually. And these apps are not CRMs, but actually task management apps. I used to do my daily to-do lists in here, what I need to do for clients. And I just thought having a CRM on this makes sense. But once I came across Folk, that changed for me and I have had a major change in the way that I keep in contact with the people that I've already had calls with. Now, I always mention cold email, cold DM tools, you know, LinkedIn automation tools. But what happens after you've had that first contact? What happens after you've had that first call with them? You actually need to maintain a relationship with them. You need to follow up with them and you need to make sure that they become a client of yours. Now we have had so many interactions, we have so many emails that usually these emails get lost and the client that could have closed is long gone in your inbox, in your page 20 or 30 or whatever it may be. That's where Folk comes in and I'm going to show you exactly how you can use it. All you need to do is click the link down below for a special trial link and you'll be taken to this page. You can see it's an all-in-one CRM tool for all of your relationships, sales, recruiting, fundraising. I'm going to showcase exactly how you can use this to build a CRM, to send out new emails to the people you've already been in contact with and how to actually build out a new list using LinkedIn just with one click. So let's get started. All you need to do is click on try for free and it'll be taken to this page. Now this is your workspace page. This is where everything happens. So first of all, let me take you into settings and members. Here you'll be able to add invite members of your agency. If you have a SDR or if you have somebody else taking care of communication, you can just invite your member over here. You've got accounts. Now you need to connect a Google account in order to make sure that everything is imported into this account and that account can also send out emails. So let's just connect my Google account right here. So as you can see, I'm signing into Folk with my email account that I use for cold emails and for getting interactions with all the people that I have had calls with. So I'm just gonna click continue over here and give all the access to Folk and click on continue. Now what it's gonna do is gonna take my Google account and start importing contacts into it. So you can see it's connected over here. It's been synced three seconds ago. You also have senders. You can add the sender over here from which you actually want to be sending out emails through. You've got integrations. You can integrate API keys if you want to do some real advanced stuff, but we don't need to do that today. I'm going to show you exactly how you can use folk in other ways possible. Then you've got your straight line stuff. So let's go back and actually go into cleanup duplicates. So what cleanup duplicates basically is, is that it's going to show you if you've got the same type of contact in your email account multiple times. So you can see I've got all of these, let's say it's, these are three contacts right now, but these are all the same contacts. What I'm going to click is click on merge. It's going to merge all the contacts for me. So I have lesser amount of emails in my account. It's going to merge all the interactions that I've had with these emails. So they're all in one place. Next up, we've got, you know, Arnie, we can say merge them as well. But yeah, you get the point. Then we come down to my groups. Now what my groups are is that you can create your own group in which all of your people are hosted. It can be different type of groups for different type of industries. For example, you've got your sales pipeline. Under your sales pipeline, there can be people who you've already had in contact with and now you want to be selling them. So you have all of these people in here. So whenever you want to go and look who's in your sales pipeline, what you want to do next with them, you can click on sales pipeline and go over here. You've got all prospects over here. So what, let's just add some people over here. So in this example, I'm going to import some people for you. So you can see if you don't have these people in your email inbox right now, how you can import them and then start sending out emails to them. So what I'm going to do is click on import from file. I'm going to upload a .csv file with 10 founders who I want to be in contact with. So it's going to ask me to add contacts to folks. So I'm going to click on upload file. So I've just imported the file that I want to be using for this example. You can see the extraction has been completed. And what it's going to do is it's going to show me exactly what the data is inside. So I'm just going to click continue over here. And what it's going to do is it's going to add these contacts to my actual CRM. You can see its contacts have been imported. I'm going to click all of these. I'm going to import these contacts into folk. And you can see they're collecting the data. And now they're going to be added to my sales pipeline. So you can see these are all added to my sales pipeline and you know I've got the email I've got the company name I've got the first name so if, for example I didn't have this email I could have just done this and I could have added the email myself I could have typed it in then you also have the option to enrich data in case you don't have all the data you can click on enrich data and it's going to enrich that contact for you and make sure that all the information that you have is right about them so you know in case you just have the first name last name and the company URL you can just click on enrich and what's going to do is it's going to enrich it and add all the details that you need you can see I don't obviously have any uh, interaction with them right now. 
and you can see i've got all the data over here i've got the linkedin i've got whatever i need uh, what is crazy about this is something called magic field so what magic field is is their version of ai so in this you can basically click whatever you want so, so in this example what i want to do is write a personalized line using linkedin so what i'm going to do is give the prompt write a linkedin personalized line to add the email using and i'm going to click linkedin as my data and I'm going to click save and what it's going to do is basically if I click generate over here it's going to generate me a personalized line using this LinkedIn URL so you can see I came across a LinkedIn I was impressed by expert and experience in the field I believe we could potentially work well together and I would love to have the opportunity to discuss this further with you so what I'm going to do is if I want to get in contact with them I'm going to click on send email over here and it's going to actually allow me to send an email right from here so let's say I click on hello and I can do a slash and actually put their name so I'll do hello first name and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my magic field over here which is the personalized line. I have my body over here, I have my CTA over here and then I have best Shiva. Now what I'm going to do is I'm also going to create a new template for this. So I'm going to create a new template and say sales and create. So now every time I click on the template sales it's going to open up that particular template for me and I'm just going to cross it out right now but you get the point. So over here I can just send out that email I can make a step up email so I can have a follow up email sent out after three days and another follow up email sent after five days, six days, whatever it may be. So you can see I can maintain everything from here so I don't even have to go back to my inbox. And the best feature about it, which is my favorite, is their Chrome extension. So how you can use this Chrome extension is to build a contact list using LinkedIn. So for example, I like Nicola's profile and I think he's perfect for my sales pipeline. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the folk icon over here, click on add to group and click on sales pipeline. You can see one person has been added to the sales pipeline. If I go back to folk, and I click on my sales pipeline over here, what's going to happen is it's going to show me the person that we've just added. You can see Nicola has been added right over here. You can see we've got his first name, the last name, his email, his job title. He's in the group of this and I can just click on send email over here and now directly send him an email without going through the hazard of actually downloading another app, get his email, going back to Gmail and then typing in an email, sending it out, then following up with the follow up manually. Everything can be done via folk. So now you understand why I said having a CRM is so much more effective. Since I've started using, since I've started using folk for my own agency, it's been great. It's been the best that I've ever had in terms of sales. I can track back any kind of clients that I had in contact with that I lost contact with just because, you know, something happened. They went back into the page. So since I've started using folk, it's been a game changer for my agency because I've been able to contact people that I was in contact with say six months ago. I could see the every interaction that I had with them. So if, for example, basis, I want to see what interaction I had with Nicola. What I can do is I'm going to click on sales pipeline, go on all prospects over here and you can click on them. And what you'll be able to do is click on team interactions and you'll be able to see any interaction that you've had with them. You can even click on new interaction in case you met them in person and add this over here so that you have an interaction right over here so that you can go back to it whenever needed. So this has been a game changer for me and for my business, for my agency to go back to people who I've had in contact with six months ago, nine months ago, who told me to follow up with them. But just because I had so many cold emails sending out, they just got lost in my inbox. So if you are an agency owner or a solopreneur who's looking for a tool to organize their sales structure, I would highly recommend Folk. All you need to do is click the link down below for the free trial. They have an awesome behind the scenes team as well to help you with anything. They've got tons of tutorials, which also I will link down below in case you get stuck somewhere. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do hit the like button and subscribe down below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.